Hey, what is up everyone? It is Jake Pimentel here from Pime Technology and today I have a AT&T network testing video. So I did do all kinds of speed tests. I went to a bunch of different locations and I thought I would just go ahead and upload this because I know you guys wanted to see more AT&T stuff. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my AT&T network testing. I want to quickly note before I start doing the tests that I am in the northeast region of of the United States and I am using an iPhone 7 Plus in all of the speed tests. The first location that I went to was a more uh, rural to suburban area. It was off of a bike path where people run, ride their bikes and stuff like that. So I went ahead and did a speed test here and the results were pretty good. As you can see, I was getting about 30, not 30, about 40 uh, download uh, megabits per second and then on the upload I only was able to get anywhere between um, 15 and 20 so it looks like it did end up at 17 but overall the ping was pretty low the signal was good and the download speeds were definitely acceptable for the type of area that I was in the next place that I was at was my local library. So this is where people would go to get books and stuff like that. And the bike path also does run through this area. Um, it connects with the one I showed earlier. So I went ahead and did a speed test. I only had two bars of LTE here. So only two bars, not the best connection. I was getting band um, two plus band 12 so that we're using carrier aggregation and as you can see the speeds were actually really really good for only two bars so as you can see on the download I got almost 50 so that's amazing for two bars and then the uploads were not so hot um, I only got around two upload in the end so overall for the signal that I had the uploads could be better but the downloads were definitely pretty good next on my trip I went ahead down to the city portion of my city so this wasn't like a major city but it is um, just like kind of like a off kind of city so I would describe it as if you were in New York City it's kind of like Queens or something like that but of where I was so it was a pretty busy area and it was 11 a.m. so a lot of people are using their phones at that time but my speeds were definitely impressive I got about 80 86 to 87 downloads so it ended up being an 88 download and then my uploads were also pretty good not the best for the signal that I was getting um, they were also using band 2 plus band 12 here but overall in the end the speeds were pretty decent and 14 upload is really not that bad and 80 download is absolutely amazing so at t performed very well in this city portion again I was in a downtown portion this time I was more north of the location I was at before but we are still very downtown I was just at a local CVS as you can see there's a Metro PCS store across the street and just a lot of different businesses so I went ahead and did a speed test I did have about three bars of LTE so a decent signal for the city sorry that this was um, over, a little overexposed um, I must have had the settings wrong on my camera but as we can see it load up here the ping was decent so we got a 39 ping which is very consistent and as you can see on three LTE we were getting about 50 down so it, looks like it even goes up a little bit so we got 61 download and looks like we're getting a similar upload as before so a very consistent network which is very good it looks like the uploads did just go down there so it looks like our uploads are gonna land right at 8.58 megabits per second so not bad all right the next place I went to was a very rural area I was in a rural neighborhood so there's a lot of houses and a lot of families and stuff like that so this is a very rural location so what they're using over here is just band 12 they haven't released anything else yet so as you can see I was getting about 50 megabits down so that is very very good for a rural neighborhood and this is way out sprint and t-mobile don't get service here 
So at t was getting very good signal. So 51 download, and it looks like our uploads are doing pretty good too. We just had a burst there of about 35. So it does tell me they're throttling the upload speeds. So there we go, 39 ping, which is very good. 51 download and about 23 upload. So not bad at all. Now here I have T-Mobile, and I'm just gonna show you guys that I cannot get it to work. I'm getting like one bar of LTE, but it just won't work. All right, so now I've gone out even farther. I am on just a dirt road, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. Um, there are no houses or anything. It's just trees and some power lines. So I do have my phone here, and I'm getting two LTE band 12 only. So I went ahead and opened up the speed test application. So there is no band two in this rural area because, of course, they're not going to unleash that band two because it's just not really needed. They don't need the extra capacity. So here we go. 2LTE and as you can see we are getting decent speeds now it's much slower than the city but the fact that my phone is even still working and the fact that I'm even getting 10 megabits per second um, it's pretty much amazing like AT&T really does well in the rural areas and I've also seen Verizon do very well in the rural areas so 10 download is perfectly fine for everything you do some people have even slower home Wi-Fi than that and our uploads were not that great but decent for how far away we were to uh, upload so then I went ahead and also tried their HSPA plus network because that is no joke either Behind the LTE, they also have the 4G HSPA Plus network, and that really helps in rural areas where LTE doesn't reach. As you can see, my ping was very high. Trust me, it's usually not that high, but speeds were awesome. That's going to be an end of the AT&T network testing video. If you guys want more of this, definitely leave a comment down below. Overall, AT&T impresses me every single day. They continue to improve, and their network really shows that it is improving, as you can see with these speeds. And their coverage has also been really, really good. So AT&T is a great contender and cannot be forgotten. So if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, leave a like down below. Definitely subscribe to the channel and hit those notifications if you want to stay up to date on all my latest content. Again, thank you guys so much for your support. Smile because you and technology are amazing. And peace out.